In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start selling on Jumia.ug, which is the Jumia Uganda, and start making money online right now. So if you are looking to get your products right on the Jumia's app, this video is going to be helpful for you. So you can also publish your ads and be displayed on the platform just like you are seeing this one. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started right now. So if you are looking to get started to sell your products or your services on Jumia, you just need to scroll down at the bottom of this page and and you'll find make money with us section right here so what you just need to do you need to click on the sell on the jumia link or you can just open a new tab and on google you just type sell on jumia and search so when you hit search you will click through this first link here and it is going to open this window so if we go back to the same window right here you can see it will take us to the same window now if you want to sell your products on Jumia, you need to create an account in the Jumia's vendors section right so you just need to click on start selling right here or right here and when you click start selling they will take you to the vendor center for Jumia now on the vendors center this is where you need to create your account for you to start selling on Jumia because you need a vendors account to start selling right so right here you're going to select the country where you live so for example I'm going to put Uganda because I'm from Uganda then you just need to click on next so they are going to bring you where you can enter your email so I'm going to have my email right here so I'm going to paste my email right here and then click on verify. So when you click on verify, they're going to send you a code. Just come here and refresh. And this is the email in my inbox. Just copy the code and paste it right here. Then click verify. So when you click verify, they're going to bring you a window where you need to put your phone number. So, so just input your phone number and go ahead and create a password. So after creating a password, click on next. You can save password or never. Now they are going to bring you the option where you need to select the type of, it, of your shop. So you may either have an individual or business. So I'm just going to select individual for the purpose of this video. And I'm just going to put the shop name, right? So name, may put new human methods shop okay now on the shipping zone it's good to be around kampala right so you can put entebbe you can put ginger so areas around kampala right so as for me i'm going to put kampala because areas distance from kampala usually they may reject your application right so how did you hear about us in social media go ahead and tick this up. i confirm i've read terms and conditions and then click on submit so just give them a while for them to process your account and right here you are going to log into the account that you have just created. So this will open for you your vendors section and this is literally your shop. This is how you are going to be managing your shop on Jumia. So you can see right here it has shop information you have just filled that. So, so when you tap on business information you can see the couple of things that they need. For example you need to provide your full name. Then you need to choose the ID type and if you can take a look at the options you can see you can either verify with a national ID, driver's license or passport. Then you need to provide your TIN number for the business. Then right here you need to input your TIN number uh, document right, right here. Then here you can put your VAT number if you have. Then if you continue scrolling down you can see legal representative's address. So right here you're going to input the address of your business or your store if you have a physical address right. Then you head over to the shipping information and when you click through the shipping information you can see you are shipping to Kampala because we already selected that area in the previous section. So if you if you continue going to the payment information, so the payment information you can either choose to use bank or you can choose to use mobile money as the method of payment. So if you choose uh, if you choose to use bank then you can input your bank name your account number and iban iban and swift code you can get them from your bank service provider so you just need to call them to give you the, your swift code and iban and the rest of the information that you cannot get right so if you choose to use mobile money you're just going to input the names through that number is registered and again you're going to input the number right in this section and go ahead and save 
So then you can check through the additional information. Additional information, nothing big is in there. You can literally leave that blank or you can go ahead and fill in depending on how you choose to. So I just don't want to go much into that. I just need to head over this section and basically show you what uh, uh, what these stuffs are all about. So when you check over the order section right here, so this is the order section now once you click through the order section it's going to bring for you the orders that you are having from your clients or from your customers so let's say someone uh someone finds a product online let me just go back to jumia so let's say you're selling so let's say you're selling you're selling this tv right so if you're selling this tv someone presses an order right to buy this tv you're going to have your order in this section so you go to orders then you will find the people that have submitted their orders that are not yet worked on so if you have orders that you have not responded to they will be in pending orders so if you have orders that are ready to ship you have already prepared the orders ready to ship then they will be shifted to this ready to ship section so if they are shipped this section is going to be highlighted or if they are delivered then this section is going to be highlighted so you can have any of these filters highlighted depending on the status of the order so these are the filters for the order if you like you can change the date if you want to see orders submitted for different dates you can change the dates right here from this date to this date and uh, you can also have filters for different countries that you are shipping to or different payment methods that you that you allow on your on your ads so pretty much you can filter through depending on which type of order that you want to see then your orders are going to be listed right on this section here so now i want to take you to the product section right here now when you when you tap on this arrow the drop down arrow you can see manage products add products and fulfillment by jimia now when you come to products right here if you want to manage your products you just come to manage products so this is the place where you can manage your product so after you have added your product is going to be on pending qc so that means it's waiting for jumia people to approve it before it comes online so once your product has been approved then it is going to come to approved and it will be inactive so the product may not be approved at the same time so if it's not approved it's going to be in rejected or not yet ready to Q to qc or or inactive or deleted depending on the status of your product you're going to be seeing right on this section here so if you want to add a product you just come to add product and right here you can add a new product so when you click on add a new product it's going to bring you it's going to bring you to this section and you can add up to one two three four five six seven eight you can add up to eight images for a single product so right here you're going to click through this so after clicking here then you can go ahead and add the product image that you want to sell so right here you can write the name of the product that you want to sell and right on the category you need to select the category of the product that you, that you want to upload right so it may be automobile it may be baby product books or movies computing electronics fashion so there are a lot of categories just need to find the right category for your product so that it, it is not messed up so so after doing that then you just need to come to the submit button right here this submit button will be highlighted and you just need to click on the submit button and once you click the submit button your product is going to be waiting for approval from the jumia people so if you want to advertise your product so so that your product can come on the home page right like these products then you just come to to advertise your product and by paying some money your product will be easily accessible by people visiting jumia app so if you want to see the account statements so with the transactions you have made previously then you can just come to account statements right here and on account statements you can check the statuses of all the of all your transactions that you have made in the past so they are paid paid open transactions or you can have them all listed in one place like you see so this is going to be your shop right here you can see our shop was money methodist shop and you'll have your gmail right there so if you click on the on the drop down arrow you can see give us feedback you can also find your profile right here so in case you want to edit anything from your profile you can go ahead and tap on the profile and and do the editing on this section so this is it guys if you like to start selling your products on jumia you can just start by following this video so if you like the video kindly hit that like button subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye and take care thanks for watching